This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, welcome to Kumar Consulting. So guys, once again, I'm back with a question, interview question. So here in this session, uh, first of all, look at the question and then I'll show the answer also and I'll explain practically. Okay, so the question is, what is the difference between tax type and tax code? What is the difference between tax type and tax code? So if anybody, whenever the interviewer is going to ask these questions, uh, almost everybody is going to give some diplomatic answer and that is not acceptable just one line or half line people will uh, give certain reply and all right so i think the similar reply will be given by everybody so if, if everybody is going to give a similar kind of reply and all then what is the difference between you people and those people right so you have to give some unique answer now so i'll just uh, i have pointed out some uh, you know common differences which will be quite easy for you guys to explain during interview and practically also I'm going to show those differences so that it will be uh, quite easy for you guys to remember and even uh, you know like if the understanding is there then only you guys will be more and more confident during interview so look at the answers guys here I have specified the answers also and uh, these are the answers here so the first the first difference is is i have specified here tax type determine the base amount for tax calculation this base amount could be gross amount net amount tax amount etc and tax code determine what the percentage for the tax calculation it means the percentage rate for tax calculations right yeah i have to specify rate the tax calculation now if we talk about any sort of taxes and all then the first thing which comes in our mind is what percentage right in the sense what what is the tax rate now let's suppose the tax rate is like let's suppose i said 10 percent okay this tax rate is 10 percent now again the next question will be there in your mind that this tax 10 percent is going to be calculated on calculated on which amount right this 10 percent is going to be calculated on which amount right so i'll just tell you now let's suppose it's going to be like we are having an invoice we are having an invoice worth of thousand rupees. Okay, this is your invoice amount. This is your invoice amount. Okay, I'll just. This is your invoice amount. So this 10% is going to be calculated on which amount? Let's suppose it is going to be calculated on invoice amount. So this is called base amount on which amount guys the tax is going to be or whichever on whichever amount the tax is going to be calculated guys that is called base amount so so i'll just do one thing here this is invoice amount right now let's suppose we are having gst also gst input and that is 12 percent so it will be 120 right i have to convert this it is 120 rupees this is your input gst now i have just kept gst itself now so this invoice we have received how much 1000 is the invoice amount and 12 percent GST 12 percent GST so total worth of 1120 total worth of 1120 rupees invoice we have received now if you post this invoice then while posting this invoice we have to we must have to deduct the T uh, this one TDS also okay uh, so here let's suppose 10% TDS is going to be deducted ok 
okay this 10 percent tedious is going to be deducted now the question is this 10 percent tedious is going to be deducted on which amount okay i told you guys the amount on which tax is going to be calculated is called base amount okay tax will be calculated on which amount guys base amount so let's suppose 10 percent tedious is going to be calculated on which amount right so what is the base amount for this 10 percent calculations so if i say the base amount is this one thousand right so here the tedious will be 100 right and there might be a chances that base amount could be this both okay this is called let's suppose net amount and if you include both then this is called gross amount i'll show you guys okay so this 10 percent 10 percent tedious if you say it's like if the base amount is net amount then it is going to be calculated on 1000 if the base amount is gross amount gross amount means this invoice amount plus gst so it is 1120 in that case what will happen guys then the tax is going to be it will be around 112 i guess right 112 this is is going to be deducted even we are having some other options also i'll show you guys practically okay okay i think this this is there okay so i'll just do one thing guys okay so here s p r o and let me expand this financial accounting new financial accounting uh, global setting and here we are having okay withholding tax extended withholding tax and here we are having calculations so here tax type now give you the country code and I have already defined a tax type, this T5 I'm going to use. So look at here guys, the base amount, okay? Base amount. So base amount is like your net amount, gross amount, right? Tax amount. Now, so we'll have, we'll have a look on this one by one, okay? If we are going to select here net, net amount, okay so now let me do one thing okay so first of all f is zero i have to make a certain setting size so that i can show you all the example almost let me if certain so now what will happen guys then this is how we are going to apply certain you know gst okay so now i'm going to take example of this scenario itself okay if the base amount is net amount net amount means this one right net amount means excluding tax amount right so here this is now so tds is how much guys 100 rupees supposed to be deductions the deduction is supposed to be 100 rupees use transition code fp60 and take example of any company code just i'm going to use some vendors and here give okay so thousand rupees guys and thousand rupees plus 120 will be the gst so it will be 1120 and here rent account thousand and give your tax amount that is T1. This one I have already defined. It's okay. So I guess somebody has changed the tax procedure or what? Let me check. So be easy. Okay. 
Okay, so here minus k and zero one, let me save it. So once again, every sixty guys. Okay, so here T1 and simulate, just press enter. So look at here guys, now what is happening? Your rent amount, 1000, right? That is going to be debited. And GST input, that is 120. This is also going to be debited, okay? Now here, okay, so, Now, okay, so if you talk about TDS deductions, okay, so TDS 10% is getting deducted, guys. I have defined a tax code and the percentage is 10%. So this 10% is going to be deducted and that too on net amount. What we have here, if you are able to see, look at here, which T5. I'll just show you guys, even tax code also I have defined with the T5 itself. Okay, here, let me execute. So now T5, the tax rate also, T5 itself and 10%, 10% tax rate I have specified, right? So now this 10% deduction is going to happen on which amount, guys? So we have specified here, this 10% deduction is going to happen on net amount right it is on net amount so now net amount means what guys as i said invoice amount and gst so here invoice amount only will be treated as a net amount and on that 10 percent deduction means 100 degrees right now if you are going to change make it gross amount and save it okay and I have skipped, guys, uh, this one modifier, uh, sorry, modified net amount and modified tax amount also because for this, some additional configurations required, guys, we'll have to set up processing key and all. Okay, so we are not going to go in that details because videos will be lengthy. Uh, now, so uh, I'll give some very easy, what to say, examples and explanations so that it will be easy for you guys to explain during interview. Okay, now. So here, uh, net amount we have already said, if you're going to click on gross amount, then what will happen, guys? Gross amount means your invoice amount, including GST, including the tax amount, okay? So we'll see the example once again. Here, first of all, I've selected this gross amount. Let me save it. So now, so the base amount is changed, right? In the sense, base amount will change in the sense, now the tax is going to be calculated on which amount? It will be on gross amount, right? So now, once again, we are going to, so now, if it is, let's suppose, now the tax calculation will happen on which amount, guys? The tax calculation will happen on both. Gross amount means 1000 plus 20. So here the 10% TDS means 112. This much TDS is supposed to be deducted, right? In that case, your vendor is going to be credited. These both amounts are debit, right? This is debit. This is also debit. Now, this is going to be credited, 1112. So your vendor is going to be, vendor, is going to be credited with how much guys? 1008, this much rupees, right? I'll just show you guys. This is just a simple uh, accounting entry, nothing is there in that case. Look at here. Now, now here, so your TDS, sorry, rent account, debited with thousand gst input also 120 and on this thousand and 120 what is the tds which has been deducted guys 10 percent 10 percent 
of 1120 rupees so it is 1112 now whatever remaining amount is there with that amount only vendor is going to be credited so this is 1008 so it happens when we are going to select here gross amount right so guys if you talk about in both cases in both cases what is happening the percentage is same the tax percentage is same but the condition for this tax calculation is getting changed right initially we said like net amount so net amount is a different conditions where we have a given a kind of instruction to the system that if it is going to be net amount means what this amount only gross amount means this invoice amount plus gst even we are having options like if you are going to select this tax amount then what will happen save it i'll just show you in that case tdh is going to be calculated on this tax itself gst itself right even this net amount is also going to be excluded so on 120 again 10 percent tax percentage will be always same guys there is no changes in every cases you get here 10 percent 10 percent but the calculation amount base amount is getting changed every time right now the base amount is 120 it means the tax is going to be calculated on 120 itself so what is the 10 percent of 120 guys only 12 rupees why not to test it so now here once again well so here okay now click on simulate okay so here what is happening guys now look at here the taxes tds is getting calculated on this tax amount gst input right so now here what is happening what i have said what i have said here in ppt i said the tax type determine the base amount for tax calculation that is base amount could be anything guys either gross amount net amount tax amount etc right whereas tax code determine the tax percentage rate for tax percentage or percentage rate for the tax calculation these are the two major differences now then sorry this is the first one and then second one it also determines the rounding rule it also determines rounding rule means i'm talking about tax type tax type also determines the rounding rule to make the tax amount in round figure i'll tell you guys now let's suppose if you're having look at your rounding rule we are having here is the rounding rule what is this rounding rule guys this rounding rule means this is the rounding rule right now so if you want to know more about this rounding rule here what is happening let's suppose if your tax amount let's suppose your tax amount is this is the amount point Two six. Okay, so here what is happening, guys? This is going to be converted into round figure. Round figure based on this rounding rule. Round figure means how much it is? It is one two one five will be the round figure, right? Or is even one two one six also will be round figure, guys? Okay, so here it will be one two one five itself. This is going to be the round figure okay here we are having three different kind of rounding rules guys this is called uh, you know common round this is called arithmetic uh, what to say rounding rule also in the sense like or a common rounding rule so here what is happening guys it means till 0 to 0.49 system is going to count, count as 0 itself okay not zero actually we can say from point zero one from point zero one point zero one okay from point zero one till 49 system is going to count as zero okay so look at here so 
point two six is there, so it will fall under this one. So zero will be there. So now what is happening, guys? It is twelve one five will be there, right? Plus zero, it will be this much only. Now here from zero point five till nine nine point nine nine is going to be counted as one. It means if the same amount we are having here 62.62. Okay, in that case, what will happen, guys? Now 62 means it is falling under this category, right? 0.5 in the sense you can assume 0.50 I'm talking about, right? So this is falling under 62.60 is falling under this one. So one. This much is going to be counted as a one. So one plus 12 point sorry 1215 uh, rupees plus one it is going to be 1216 rupees right and again the same thing here round up in the sense amount up means whether it is this much 0 0.1 or 0 0.99 in that case in in every case system is going to add one and voice words are heard this amount down so this rounding rule is also this rounding rule is also going to be determined by for guys, it also determines the rounding rule to make, to make the tax amount in round figure. Right, let me back from this one. Okay, so now the second one is uh, tax type determines the rounding rule to make the tax amount in round figure. Now, what about the tax code, guys? Tax code determines percentage subject to tax. Okay, now what is this percentage subject to tax, guys? If you guys are able to remember, now your percentage subject to tax. Okay, let's suppose I am saying that here this 10% TDS calculations, forget about these things now, and I'm going to remove, remove this amount also. Now I am saying that here 10% it means 100 rupees. Okay, so if it is net amount, if the let's suppose your uh, base amount is net amount in that case. Now let's suppose the base amount is net amount itself. Now there is one more conditions, one more conditions like what is the portion of the net amount is subject to tax. Sometimes people says that only seventy five percent, not uh, only seventy five percent of the base amount will be subjected to tax or is only 50 percent of the base amount is subjected to tax so here this is the base amount guys 1000 let's suppose 1000 is the base amount i'll just do one thing here make it net, net amount itself okay so now if we say that how much this 10 percent tds is going to be deducted now it also this this Tax type, sorry, tax code also determine what is the percentage, percentage, what percentage of the base amount is subjected to tax? Which person of which portion of the base amount is going to be treated as a like you know which on which person of the base amount the tax is going to be deducted? Let's suppose I say like base amount. Sorry, uh, percentage subject to tax is 50%. It means what is the 50% of base amount, guys? Here, 1000 is there. The 50% of 1000 of thousand is how much? 500. So now the tax is going to be calculated on 500 only. It means the 10% TDS of which amount? 500. So how much it is? 50 rupees only. Right? I'll just do one thing, guys. If you look at here. Now, I've shown here. Right now, base amount is net amount. It means that is your invoice amount. Come back. And here, I said, like, tax code determine the tax percentage. Apart from this, it also determines, look at here, percentage subject to tax. Okay? Percentage subject to tax. In the sense, what percentage, what percentage of base amount look at here here also it is written base amount right what percentage what percentage of base amount is subject to tax so here if i says 50 percent of base amount is subject to tax 
let me save it okay here i have given 50 percent it means what 50 percent of base amount is subject to tax now i will just do one thing once again let me give the random number okay don't be confused with this amount guys uh if you guys are having a perfect understanding of tax on sales purchase okay then uh, uh you will come to the logic behind this because here at higher level amount is different anyway uh now here okay so now tds if you talk about tds calculation then now tds is going to be calculated on this amount but 50 percent of this amount 50 percent of this, this amount so what, what is the 50 percent of thousand guys it is 500 only 50 percent of thousand is 500 only so now on this 500 the 10 percent tds is going to be deducted i've shown you guys on this 500 this 10 percent tds this 10 percent is going to be deducted so how much tax it is supposed to be reacted only 50 rupees i'll just do one thing click on simulate and let's see guys whether it is getting calculated or not so look at here yes 50 rupees why because the base amount is thousand right base amount for tax calculation is thousand but of this base amount of this thousands only 50 percent is subjected to tax so what is the 50 percent of this base amount guys or with so-called thousand rupees so it is 500 on 500 only system is going to calculate this tds so the second important thing what i have specified that tax code also determines the percentage subject to tax in the sense which portion of what person or what percentage of your base amount is subject to tax is also going to be determined by tax code okay and your tax type i specified that it's going to determine the rounding rule rounding rule in the sense like after like whatever the tax amount is their system is going to make it a round figure okay now the third one under one tax type multiple tax code can be set up but vice versa is not possible i'll tell you guys let's suppose here look at here withholding tax type tax type i have given here and then under that we are we have set up this t5 a tax code now again if you want to set up let's suppose again t5 right t5 and now i'm going to set up t6 okay t6 so if you want to set up 100 percent now instead of 10 percent now i'm going to give five percent try center still there is no issues and all and if you want to save you can save control s look at here so under one tax type we can set up multiple tax code but vice versa is not possible so what is happening guys what is the benefit here let's suppose i'm having t5 that is your tax type okay under that i'm having like let's suppose t5 as a tax code t6 is there t7 is there t8 is there okay so this is your tax type and this is your tax code okay so now if you talk about this tax type it is always there it stand a kind of higher in terms of hierarchy level right because under one tax type multiple tax code can be created but by vice versa is not possible so here it means okay now so it means these all tax codes has been or have been set up codes have been set up against a particular tax type right so under one tax type multiple tax code can be set up this is for 10 percent okay here this is for let's suppose 10 percent 
this is for five percent this is for two percent let's suppose this is for eight percent so different different percentage every tax code every tax code is having different different percentage but since all the tax code has been set up against a particular tax type so if you talk about the base amount for tax calculation will be same if i'm going to select look at here i'm having p6 so at tax type level if you select net amount for this tax calculation then whichever these tax codes are there for every tax code the same the same what to say the setting is applicable okay uh, if you talk about like gross amount on gross amount this is going to be in the sense tds is going to be calculated it means that is applicable for all tax percentage in the sense for all tax code okay so under one tax type we can set up multiple under one tax type we can set up multiple tax code right but vice versa is not possible now the last one in the sense fourth one tax type is set up at country level but assigned to company code i'll tell you guys whenever you are going to set up a tax type always it is going to be set up at country level keep in your mind okay you if you click on define withholding tax system is asking the first thing country key it means it is set up at country level only but even if you look at the further what is it configurations then we are having here assign withholding tax type to your company code right so whichever tax type you have set up those tax types are going to be assigned those tax types this tax type is going to be assigned where it is going to be assigned against company code so tax type is is going to be assigned against company code okay if your company code is let's suppose pm01 then against this company code what is happening guys the tax type is going to be assigned whereas look at here tax code is also set up at country level itself if you are going to set up a new tax code there also system is going to ask country code look at here but whenever you set up whenever you set up the tax code always it is going to be set up against a particular tax type so now what i said here that tax type tax type tax type is set up at country level but it is assigned to company code whereas tax code is also set up at country level itself but this is assigned to tax type okay so these are the four four uh, major differences guys which can be explained very easily pretty easily during ng2 okay these these four these four differences i'll repeat once once again like uh, if you talk about tax type tax type determines the base amount right for the tax calculations and this base amount could be anything like gross amount net amount tax amount right whereas the tax code consists of or it going to determine the percentage rate what percentage of tax is going to be deducted at the same time now tax type it also determine the rounding rule whereas the tax code this determines the percentage subject to tax in the sense what portion of your base amount is subjected to tax what percentage of the base amount is subjected to tax now the third one is under one tax type multiple tax code can be set up right against one tax type we can set up multiple tax code but vice versa is not possible why vice versa is not possible it means against uh, what to say tax code one tax code we cannot set up multiple what to say this tax type and all now the fourth one is tax type tax type is set up at country level but it is assigned to the company code tax type is going to be assigned to the company code whereas tax code is also set up at country level sorry country level itself but this is going to be assigned to the tax type i have already shown guys whenever you are going to set up this tax code tax code is always set up against this tax type itself right so these are 
the four major differences which can be explained guys if you talk about the differences and all there are multiple differences multiple differences countless differences will be there for each and every field there is there is uh, you know certain use in it all right look at here we are having one field called this withholding tax form now what is the use of this one for this one again a separate session if, if i started explaining this one it's going to take a separate session because this is going to be used for if you define certain formula for withholding tax calculations tds calculations formula in the sense certain criteria will be there the tax is going to be calculated like if the amount is from this much to this much then this much percentage will be there if the amount is from this range to this range, this range then this much percentage will be there likewise you know certain conditions are there so in that case what is happening guys we have to define the formula and for that we have to then then we are having the use of this field right so likewise we are having several what to say uh, differences guys can be uh, what to say uh, if you started explaining but the thing is uh, better better to explain uh, in the easiest way okay well, because during interview what is happening the interviewer is going to derive the questions from your answer itself so whatever i have explained is quite easy to understand and quite easy to explain at your level at your level okay uh, so these are the four major differences guys which you have to you can note it down uh, and keep in your mind and everything i have explained practically so i think it will be easy to understand so that's all guys that's all in this segment that's all in this session see you again with a new topic till then just bye bye